The capacity of monitoring distressed and dilapidated buildings in Lagos State to prevent the recurring incidences of building collapse has continued to become a worrying subject among stakeholders in the building construction industry and the state government. This is because the disagreement between the State Building Control Agency, LAPSCA, and the stakeholders in the built environment over monitoring of defective buildings spread across the state. This report by our correspondent Fatou Kikunle, as presented from our studios, X-rays the capacity of LAPSCA to monitor defective buildings across the mega city. Building collapse has become a recurring incident in Lagos, a mega city where at times, just when one thinks the frequent cases of buildings caving in has become history, a building suddenly collapses. Buildings collapse when they become distressed and dilapidated over the years, but with Lagos having its fair share of such incidents, which often claimed lives apart from injuries and temporary displacement, the need for monitoring of defective structure has become imperative. Most of the buildings that are collapsing, most of them, they are developed by developers, by desperate developers who purchase land from original owners and developed for a period of let's say 20 to 25 years so whatever they are putting in place they they have their target by by the time it's 20 years must have recoup their money so they don't, they don't most of them don't care about the structure they are putting in place the stability in terms of the, the quality of cement quality of uh, sand gravel and in use of professionals. Monitoring of distressed buildings in some cases lead to demolition of structures considered no longer safe for human habitation by the state's building control agency, LASPCA. However, does LASPCA have the capacity to monitor distressed buildings spread across Lagos? Anything that is not according to law and they feel that it's not good, they hold it to the government to call and report. And when the government is coming in, they won't disturb us. And that is an example that they have played. And I thank them, I thank them. Governor Sowood is seizing this opportunity to say thank you. The personnel of the two agencies, they are very thin on the ground. And that is, that is a fact. In terms of personnel, in terms of vehicles, in terms of materials, in terms of equipment, they are very lean on ground. And I think that it's high time to employ and to beef up these agencies like they have done to uh, LIRS. LASCA is grossly inadequate in, in uh, controlling buildings and not because they don't have professionals, they have professionals. But how many buildings to a professional under LASCA? And so they, they, they can't do it effectively because they don't have the strength how many buildings would they control? How many, how many officers would they have? And in, in Alimosho alone, how many buildings are going on, construction work are going on, that they want to control? Before you know it, you know, they are overwhelmed. And in some other, in some other cases too, you find out that they don't even have the security personnel that are even enough in case they, they meet danger, they meet resistance on all these on the, uh, sites. I think the Lagos State building control agency is adequately equipped to monitor distressed buildings in Lagos State. However, because Lagos State is a mega city that is constantly expanding, the agency also has to constantly increase its capacity. Though demolition of defective buildings is being vigorously pursued, some stakeholders in the building construction industry believe that monitoring of distressed buildings should not be left alone to government. The community allows it. Because if we raise eyebrow for such, definitely, and how do we do this? We get the authority concerned informed immediately. We send pictures to them. We give them the evidence of what is actually happening, ar happening around us so that government will come and you know, do the ne necessary thing that they, they need to do. Because let me tell you, government cannot, I said it earlier, government cannot be everywhere. 
we supposed to help government to actually get all this thing done? Yes, I believe the Lagos State Building Control Agency should include and involve the public in monitoring distressed buildings in Lagos State. There's a lot that the public can do. For instance, if any member of the public sees a distressed building, there should be a, a, a call line, there should be a customer control line, a customer line that they can call to report distressed buildings. While it continues to monitor dilapidated buildings across the mega city, Last Car is making it clear that no building will be spared regardless of their location or personalities involved. Lagos State Building Control Agency have been going about and mean identify all distressed buildings and all the existing structures and all ongoing are fit for habitation. Any distress or dilapidated building that is not fit for habitation has to be removed. That's exactly what we are doing here. And all the statutory notices have been served. Most of the ones we are removing today, we've been on it for the past four or five years. The state government and stakeholders in the building construction industry believe that there is need for concerted efforts with residents playing a role in riding the state of inhabitable structures.